Hi, I'm Terry, and today I'm going to talk about tubular lock picks. I found between the inexpensive and the expensive, it's all about the same. It's again, it gets into you hear me say all the time, if you're going to pick locks, practice, practice, practice. However, most of the safes I'm picking are, or most of the uh, tubular locks that I'm picking are on offshore safes or sentry safes. And they almost anything will open them. Uh, you've seen videos where they take a big pen and open it and whatever. Uh, they're very simple to open. And if they don't, if you can't pick it, then you just drill the lock and replace it. They're not that difficult. So I'll have more videos on exactly how to pick them and everything. I'll have different videos on, on the membership channel on how to drill them and other d bypass methods. But I'm just going to show you some of my favorite picks that I've had over the years. So one of my first ones I ever got, and I don't even make these unfortunately anymore. I still have one in mint condition. Uh, this is uh, a peanut. It's just quite simple to set. You basically just make sure everything is, is flush. And we'll go into that in the picking videos more. Uh, I've got an offshore, uh, which means Chinese made. When I, say, when I say offshore, it's usually Chinese made. Uh, these are really inexpensive, and it does the trick on the cheapy stuff. You know, the, the, the uh, again, offshore tubular locks. The real ones that are North American made uh, tubular locks can be extremely difficult to pick. However, with all the offshore stuff, there, there's no tolerances. They, they just make them cheap, and you just need something to defeat them. Usually, you can pick them real quick, and I'll show you in a few minutes. This is another one I've had for a long time. It's made by Hudson, but it's kind of interesting. HPC, which is one of the oldest ones I've, I have, is exactly the same. So, uh, I don't know. You know, maybe it's just rebranded as the HPC. Uh, HPC has a lot of products. Some of them are good, some of them aren't, but I found their, their picks are okay. And this is a Hudson. I've seen different names on stuff, so I don't know who's who. Uh, these are the more expensive ones, a little bit more precise, uh, and it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the, the, the secret of these is, is to have, you can't have the little picks extending. Uh, so you, you can, with the, this is a tensioner, and you just gotta find a, a flat surface make sure it's all flat. Now the interesting thing is you have to adjust your tension. The interesting thing when you're picking these, once you got it to turn, lock this down, and I can put this in a, I can decode it and cut a key on a uh, code machine, a tubular code machine, or I have some old style key machines. I can just copy this key and I have a key for the customer. Some of the high quality uh, picks of these are extremely expensive. However, I found this does the trick. What I use uh, these two for is Harley Davidsons. They have very high quality um, tubular locks on them, and so they should. You're paying a lot of money for that Harley. And uh, with a lot of practice, uh, and we're pretty successful in picking the Harleys, and then we lock it down and decode it, and we cut a key on the code machine. I'll show you a, a video on that too uh, coming up. I use whatever's handy. Uh, this is these, actually, these two are in my, uh, in my pick set. Uh, the peanut was really good. The peanut was is an excellent, but it was just made out of plastic, and uh, you know people were breaking them. But it was a great little little uh, you know little handy light and everything. But so what I'd say when I this is probably I use the Hudson or the HPCs, the most popular. It just picks those Sentry locks in a second, and I hate to pick on Sentry, but you know I do. Uh, so uh, there's other methods to defeat them as well, and there's more on the membership channel. So. What do you buy? Just get something inexpensive because 80% of the locks out there are crap. Uh, and if you want to put a little bit more money into it, I recommend the HPC or the Hudson. And there's a few other high quality ones. And uh, I got some more coming in and uh, we'll do videos on them. So join the membership channel. You can see how I pick these and how I drill them uh, when all else fails, how I drill the locks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.